How's it going YouTube? So today I want to talk about whether or not you should buy Onslaught. It's a new DLC for COD Ghosts. It's available today if you have an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One. And you'll have to wait around a month for PlayStation gamers or PC. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Because it'll help me and you. It'll help my channel. And it'll also help you get updated with the latest content that I upload. So you might ask, what exactly is in this DLC? Well, you get four brand new maps, two guns, and part one of Extinction. And we're going to talk about the guns first. So it comes with two brand new guns, the Mavericks. Uh, one's a sniper rifle and one's an assault rifle. The sniper rifle is really good. There, are, Although there is a lot of kick to it and recoil, um, if you can get used to it, it's good. It's a semi-automatic um, sniper. A lot of, if, you get a, um, if you shoot the guy from knees up, it's basically an automatic kill. I used it for a little bit, a couple matches, and I probably got one hit marker out of all the matches. So it's a really good gun. Um, the assault rifle is really good too. It has the same similar characteristics as a sniper. Uh, it has really good. Po it's really powerful. It can kill people very easily, but there also is a lot of recoil to it. So both guns are really good. It's a very strong reason to buy the DLC just for the guns. And I'm sure some people will. But now we're going to talk about the four different maps. The four different maps that it comes with is Fog, um, Bayview, Containment, and Ignition. So first we're going to talk about Fog. Fog is probably my favorite map out of this DLC. It tr it's a little small to medium distance, so it's not one of these huge maps. Uh, it's a very it's kind of like trying to make it scary themed. Uh, if you complete a field order, you turn into Mike Myers where they start playing this his song and then they also you actually look like him when you run around with a hatchet trying to kill people it's basically like you're a juggernaut maniac except you look different and they play a song but it's really cool i think it's probably one of my favorite maps and i don't know why but it's very small and just easy to get a lot, there's a lot of action throughout the game uh the next map that is included is bayview Bayview takes place in California. There's a trolley that moves around, so you, a lot of people tend to go in the trolleys. They like to just hide in there, and you can lay around the edge, so most people can't see you. So be aware of that, because people will get easy kills if you're not paying attention. But that's also is a fun map. If you complete a field order, a ship will shoot mortars over and kills quite a bit of people, but it could also kill you. So try when they start doing that try and stay inside so you stay safe the next one is containment it's a small size map but I have played a couple matches and it's probably alright it's probably one of my least favorite maps out of all four maps but it's still a better map than most of the maps that they currently have in COD Ghost without the DLC it's they have a lot of long range points where you can snipe and that but it's not one of my favorite maps um, you might have a different opinion, but that's just my opinion. The last one is Ignition. This one was probably the one I was most excited for when they showed the DLC trailer. It's a re reboot of Scrapyard from MW2. Um, it doesn't exactly look like it. It's from a launch site for rockets and all that. They trying to like redid it, uh, similar to what they did in Black Ops 2. Uh, it's a good. It's a good map. I'd probably say it's probably my second favorite. Uh, it's all this stuff is laid out the same as Scrapyard, just the appearance is different. And they have a couple different um, ways you could get around. They had an underground tunnel now, which is kind of cool. And if you complete a field order here, the rocket will um, test and it'll launch flames. If anybody's by it or underneath it, they'll be lit on fire and killed, which is kind of cool. And so those are the four maps. Really good maps. I'd highly recommend picking it up. Also, what also is included in this DLC is part one of Extinction. So this one takes place in Alaska and what this is part is they want you to kind of get involved in the story. They try and give you more information of how this is all happening, how you're getting all these aliens and it's, I actually kind of like it. It's a lot better than the first part that comes with the game for Extinction. You kind of get more story and you can look for these Easter eggs and keys and that. And also when you get this uh, part of the story for the Alaska part for extinction you get 
a gigantic alien. It probably takes up probably a third of the map, which is really good. Uh, it's kind of hard to beat. It might take some people a couple times to get past that level, but you want to try try and stay as far away from it as possible and just work as a team and try and kill it. But they also have another alien that's kind of like a small alien, but can turn invisible, can jump like crazy. It's pretty cool and I can teleport which is also kind of crazy but it's a really good extinction mode um, I'd highly recommend it so if I were to give a rating for this DLC I'd probably say around an 8 out of 10 which is really good so if you have the money it's 15 bucks or if you have the season pass it's free and included um, I'd highly recommend to go download it as soon as possible but I'm sorry if you're PlayStation or PC you have to wait a month um, kind of stinks so that's the end of the video. Leave me in the comments if you already downloaded it and tell me your thoughts on the DLC and I'll see you next time.